Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th of June 2023. I'm using the Dreamway um, Lenamon and the Believe in Your Own Magic and the Angel Feral, Feral Feather Oracle. We'll have the new moon on the 19th, 18th, 19th, depending on which hemisphere you live, and we'll have the full moon on the 3rd of July. We are also going into a slower energy um, that you'll most probably be happier with. Cancer, a water sign, so go with the flow. You might be dreaming more. You might be empathic and more intuitive than others or have deja vu's or finding signs of angels, feathers, coins, caterpillars, butterflies, all of a sudden appear, or ladybirds, things like that. That's the angels sending you a message, if not your ancestors. You come in with the heart as the all-over energy. This means that you might lose your heart to someone or something. This could be a new hobby. Or this could be uh, a new person or a, a friend that has become your partner. You've changed perspectives on a partner, a friendship, on a soulmate. Wow. Also, you could be passionate about a person. And this could be a soulmate. A soulmate doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can also be a, a partner in business or in a hobby. With the heart, this also means that you could be getting married. You could be joining forces and joining hearts, two hearts in one. You've also got the Jack of Cups. So there is an offer coming in or an opportunity. This news is definitely also could be about a child or could come from a child or somebody naive, immature or younger than you. So do check the news. This could be the school teacher or the professor phoning up and saying, I think your child is very, very intelligent. I think you should go up to the next class. Things like that. Also, you've got number 24, which becomes the six. So you're more than halfway and you are in balance. That said, you've also got the carbon garden so this could be a reunion gatherings parties uh, or you might be even meeting new people as you could be celebrating something or rather luck seems to be on your side if you would if that is your wish that you want a reunion with an old friend and you want it to be a partner in romance then it, the opportunity could arise. They could come back into your life. But definitely go out into nature. Be one with the universe and the divine. Also, you could be starting a guardian, gardening. Perhaps you might have got um, a, an allotment or you might have joined up with a group of people that are passionate about green, about the open air about being outside going for walks or doing gardening or meeting up and doing sports again you are in your strength because you've got the eight that's the house of money so money could be coming to you also the house of leadership and strength and wisdom so use your wisdom uh, wisely Number 20 becomes 2. So this means to me that you could be partnering up, and this is 2 as well. So you've got 22 or two twos. Partnering up seems to be in the cards. Luck is on your side. Wow, you've got 7 as well, and you've got a 6 again. Two sixes, two twos. So definitely luck is on your side and the angels and the cosmos is protecting you and having your back. You could get news. This news could be uh, official news. So it could also come through email, text message, telephone call. Uh, official news because it's got the stamp. The seven of spades um, is the seven of swords. So be aware this news could be dangerous. 
if it isn't official, check it out, especially where there is a child concerned. Like I said, the Seven of Swords means deceit. Somebody could have left you sitting high and dry. If you've got a business, they might have put their fingers in the till, in a manner of speaking. And they've gone off and let you sit, left you behind with the blisters. You've got to sit on the blisters and sort the issues. Forewarned is forearmed if it hasn't happened yet. So be careful of the seat. Also, number 27 is 9. And that means an ending. An ending to an, a new beginning. You've got two 9s in this reading as the anchor is also the nine of swords. You might have sleepless nights. Give your stress and worries to the divine. And if you wish to pick them up the next morning, do so. But you are strong enough to let it go for the night so that you can sleep and rejuvenate. So that you are refreshed and strong and rested the next day. You've got the anchor. The anchor means you are coming home to a safe haven. You have chosen to stay where you are at this moment because you feel safe and protected. Okay, now the anchor to me has more than a story. You've got the anchor. Now I don't know if you know the charm, hope, that is um, the cross. Then you've got, no, no that's the faith. Faith, hope and love. So you've got the cross, you've got the heart. And you've got the anchor. So the anchor is hope. You've got the cross with the crossbar here, faith. And you've got the ring, and that is love. So this could definitely be marriage. Joining forces. Number eight again. Eight, eight. Wow. So definitely two eights. And you've got two twos. You've got two nines. Amazing. And... Uh, you've got num. Uh, I thought you had number eleven. No, you haven't. That was uh, Scorpio. Okay. So definitely, uh, two. There's two endings. Definitely, and also, angels have your back. But you're in the in your strength with eight and six. You are balanced. Now you've also got number three. 39 becomes 12, 12 becomes 3, so be creative and be productive. Wow. Rain drops. With the umbrella, I see up. Take a chance on them. With the umbrella, and it does give me the indication of the anger. You feel together, you feel united in thought, in manners, in caliber, uh, in status. You protect each other, you have faith in each other. So if somebody is being unfaithful and it isn't the person you're thinking about, then it could be somebody else that's trying to draw a wedge uh, between you and to separate you. So be careful who you trust, okay? So rain and dewy, I hear the song, rain drips, and raindrops keep falling on my head, but with your protection it doesn't. And I'll protect you. The angels and the fairies are with you. So you are protected by the magical realm. So give it a chance. You can wear fawn. You can eat fawn food like weed. That's fawn, the color fawn. Difficulties resolved. That's the answer. Difficulties re resolved. The angels are present to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. Talking about a reunion, think twice before you reunite or reconcile. Talk it out and have an arbitrator, but luck is on your side. And call upon Archangel Michael, the angel of the throat chakra, to help you talk it through. But be sure you talk to each other on neutral ground with an arbitrator. I wish you lots of luck and happiness in the coming week. Take care. Bye-bye.